So, that was some finale, wasn't it? I suppose. I, I kind of expected... Um, I kind of expected more of a bang, but... What, what what was there wasn't disappointing. It was like it didn't want to be more than what it was, and it didn't want to be less. It just got the job done. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I can see watching a bang if last season ended with, you know, a pipe bomb, basically. But you know, then again, you don't want them to don't want it to end the same way or constantly try to up yourself over and over, right? Suppose I mean they they wrapped up most of the loose ends, so yeah, I'm good with that. But uh, uh, you know, Jessica and it forgot everything, and he and he let Walt walk away. It's it's weird. I expected them to kind of be the the you know ultimate fight in the end, not not the other guys, but hey. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they definitely maneuvered it into the situation where Walt was like. Okay, who am I going to send? Spend all my time killing, murderizing, because that's what I'm good at. I finally realized, and it wasn't going to be the the dot com people, although you know you kind of thought so at the beginning when he actually went to their house and uh, found out when they were coming home and everything. Uh, but nope. And I thought he was going to kill them out of like um, what they said on TV, you know, like how they said, oh he. The only thing he had to do with the company was the name. I thought he was going to have his revenge or something, but... Yeah, he was he, mad. You know. yeah, he was. I was kind of expecting, like, probably not just outright kill them, but if anyone was going to go on, like, a rampage where he had a gun and was threatening them and forced them to record them admitting, you know, what role he had in actually making the place, then he would be the one to do that sort of thing. I suppose he didn't see the point because he was going to be dead anyway, you know? Well, I guess it makes sense that he'd figure, you know, he'd think up something better to do with them. Maybe he thought he was going to do something to them originally and settled for using them for money laundering in the end. Yeah. Which um, seems although smart. he did scare them a lot, that, that was yeah. something. Well, use them for money laundering and threaten them with lasers because scientists love lasers yeah oh yeah um, speaking of which yeah. you didn't you didn't see what happens to Seoul really at the end like where he was or if you kind of heard the news and he knew it was you know Walt's doing yeah well I mean you know what's all said in the last episode he's going to be maybe middle manager of an IHOP somewhere in what Connecticut some some far away state from New Mexico and he figures that's all he's going to get which is probably makes sense yeah after he changes his hairstyle and grows a beard because let's face it everyone's growing beards and it's a smart thing to do when you're changing your identity yeah everybody goes from like you know a uh, full head of hair then bold then beard I guess what we missed was bearded Saul if they just given us like you know five seconds of bearded, uh, different haired, maybe dyed hair or grayed hair, you know Bob Odenkirk, that would have been just a little treat. But yeah, I think you got to figure, you know, like kind of half the finale was the previous episode, since these were both like two extra long episodes that basically make it a two-hour movie. Um, so you know the last Walter Jr. scene we had was last episode. The last Saul scene we had was last episode. That, those were their goodbyes. And they didn't have time for them in the second half. You know, if you think about it, there's like three three characters whose kids, they're, they're, that's it, they're, they're orphans now, which is uh, Mike, Lydia, and um, the woman that Jesse was seeing. I, I forgot her name. Oh, yeah, Lydia is a kid. And, and of course, yeah, um, Jesse's boy was orphaned just last episode. Yeah, I, that, that may actually be uh, quite the intentional thematic point. I mean, you know, this wasn't going to end without bloodshed. And specifically, it happened to characters who had kids. Who had even, kids. even Junior and uh, Holly now, 
Because I guess Walt is dead. Well, yeah, Walt's dead, but at least they still got Skylar. Who may not be hey, Mama Mama Mayor, Mayor. but, the, you know, to be fair, they're probably better off without Walt in the long run. And the, they still get like nine million, so they're good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's yeah, Walter Jr. is cool. I'm sure he'll, he'll uh, you know, par give that money to his sister and give enough to his mom and everything. So they'll be set. I mean, I guess if that, that's the one thing. Not that Walter Jr. ever got a ton of time, but they set him up that, you know, he is he is a good guy despite his dad being such an immoral bastard, you know? I don't think Walt's intention was ever to, like, hurt anybody, but, you know, stuff just happened. Well, uh, well what I mean is he's, he's amoral. You know, he, he has his objective, and he's going to do whatever he needs to do to achieve it. And while he may not be a psychopath and he's not going to try to, you know, kill the, as many people as possible or anything, he's still going to, you know, have a lot of bodies along the way and not really care about it because he had his objective, you know, which yeah. was a lot about his ego as well. Um, really, um, um, they, the only thing they kind of... You know, they left um, the the M60. It it seemed like too accurate for what it was. You know. To, oh uh, no, I I think that, I mean, if you want to get really the firing range about it, I'm sure there were a few things wrong, but it seemed to work pretty well. I mean, I think the biggest thing is you can't really ever expect those sorts of homemade contraptions to work exactly how you want them to. So there's like no, a I mean, way like, so like it's worked it better failed. than it, than uh, it should have, you know. But, but it, it, but was, an like, it was an M60 aimed at waist level uh, at a building it could easily penetrate the walls of. I mean, there was no way anyone was going to get out of that alive who wasn't already on the floor. I suppose I did. I did like the way um, uh, Jesse killed the guy, um, Todd. That was that was like a true wrap up, you know, because he was he was getting payback for the kid on the bike and for uh, Brock's mother. It was definitely good. I think the like Jesse's arc was perfectly finished, but Walt, I don't know, doesn't feel like it. I thought he was actually gonna blow up the lab, you know, to cover his work and all that. I guess he feels he didn't need to. I mean, the the lab isn't gonna cover his work. Um, since they scrubbed that place pretty well, I'm not sure Jesse's going to be in any extra trouble. I mean, the police already yeah, know he's, the missing. Point was, already know he's um, missing and are looking for him. Uh, they won't be looking for Jesse because Walt, uh, he, he died there, so I think the police would think that he was the one cooking all this time. Well, I mean, it, if it wasn't being scrubbed, like, you know, every time, I guess they could always find some Jesse fingerprints. But, uh, but Jesse's basically not going to be in any more trouble at this point, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, the police are already yeah, looking for him. They know he's, they know he's, uh, you know, an associate of Walt's. That's that's it. But of course, a lot of the heat's going to be off uh, now that Walt is dead. And but I'm this sure, way, and they, I'm sure. they leave the door open for sequels because you know Jesse knows the formula and he knows how to cook. And Soul is getting his own show. Maybe Jesse will at some point. Well, I'm going to assume, with the way Saul's arc ended, that Better Call Saul spinoff is going to be a prequel. That's really the only way it can go. Yeah, I mean, but it's still his, his own show, you know? And, well, I think it's great that Jesse, you know, ends, ends the arc alive. You know, that he has his life in front of him. It doesn't need a sequel per se, or or even a Jesse spinoff. It's just you know good that he's one of the people who survived it. It doesn't need, but they might do it anyway, you know. No, I don't think so. And of course, it leaves it open enough that, as we saw from the trailer, uh, that movies that he stars in, like the Need for Speed movie, can basically pretend they're pseudo sequels to Breaking Bad. 
Yeah, the speeding was the best. Because, you know, he's mad, he's pissed off, he's gonna wreck some cars and possibly kill some people in vengeance. And he looks pretty much the same as he does in Breaking Bad, even. Like, they didn't change his hair much or anything. Just the beard, I think. I mean, obviously the movie won't be anywhere as good as Breaking Bad, but you could look at it as a sequel. It, and as you pointed out, you know, the last thing he does in Breaking Bad is speed away in a stolen car. Thematically appropriate. Man, it's pretty sad. Now we're, uh, we're like, what, one show down? I I don't think I followed anything like Breaking Bad other than The Wire. Well, there really isn't anything like Breaking Bad. I mean, a lot of people will praise The Wire, and The Wire is unequaled in its own ways, but yeah, that, 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 that's basically it. That, that's, you've seen, we've seen the best American TV has to offer, and there won't be anything else like them again. Well, for a while, at least. Well, well okay, maybe I should say anything else quite like them. But yeah, basically nothing else that are as good as them in the same ways at what they do. I'm sure there will be other good shows, but I mean, you know, just the same way there's not going to be another Sopranos, there's not going to be another Breaking Bad, and there's not going to be another... Uh, Wire? Wire. Actually, there's two HBO shows in there, that's probably a bit overselling. Okay, uh, double eight. Uh, eight AMC shows uh, not gonna be another Mad Men either. Um, I I mean you know if Walking Walking Dead has its ups and downs you know, but I think it could if they if they don't mess up season four with like the problem with with season two is that it was a boring season but great finale, and then with season three it was a great season, but terrible finale so I just think that if they make season four a good season a good finale it'll make up for the you know the last two I'm not sure I'm even going to be that generous to the past two seasons of Walking Dead I mean uh, yeah at least we have Walking Dead to look forward to thanks AMC starting what next week next next week it's going to be quite a come down off of Breaking Bad but I guess you could still say it's the best zombie TV series we have going because there aren't really that many of them. Uh, and what is else it right to say it has the, the highest production values in terms of zombie TV? Yeah, yeah, definitely no contest there. Highest production values. And, you know, for all its ups and downs and really, really low downs, yeah, it's still better than the others. I think there was the zombie roadkillish series on what Fearnet. I mean, that was the last other zombie series we had. That was apparently pretty bad. So, yeah, we got Walking Dead, and they're gonna make a Walking Dead spinoff, which could be better or worse. Uh, I assume maybe maybe they'll corral the bad writers into one of them. So, you know, we'll get a good show. Like out of we'll get a good show or, out of or it. another show. They're, they're making a Walking Dead spinoff uh, because, as I understand it, Walking Dead is still following very, very loosely the comics by the same name, and the Walking Dead spinoff will be, you know, it's an entirely different group of characters, not based in the comics at all. So it's um, it's kind of like the Telltale uh, games, yeah, the like, Telltale like the game and the game. Activision like the game. game. The, the video yeah. game that wasn't the movie, the the show video game. The awful first-person shooter, or poor term of reality. But I, I think they just need more getting... time. Yeah, yeah. They'll still make more Walking Dead video games. I'm sure they'll keep making them for as long as they can. Uh, I guess we're getting a bit off topic, but that's okay. So anyway, you know, Breaking Bad finale. I guess we can say it's a bit abrupt. Walt came to an end kind of quickly, but in, in a way that, that fit, more or less. Uh, I think one thing you said earlier, uh, that it, it's kind of fast and fast enough to be blink and you'll almost miss it, but it, I think it was clear on rewatching that Jesse clearly saw that Walt was mortally wounded by 
I guess shrapnel from the bullet uh, hosing and so you know he was going to die anyway if maybe if Jesse didn't see Walt as being mortally wounded Jesse probably would have finished him off in some way but since Jesse saw that he's just like look I'm you're already wounded you're going to die probably painfully because the that wounds around your kidney and how are you even still walking and standing up and that you want me to kill you you're like begging me so I'm not going to do it anyway screw you you know but he did do him like by that point I'm pretty sure Jesse realized that uh Walt had saved his life from the M60 you know like he he got the picture and he he saved him the trouble of having to kill the neo nazis himself and Todd was there so I yeah, think got to kill Todd. yeah, yeah Jesse got, got a good Todd. deal Walt's plan although you know how much of this was his plan how much of it was fortuitous isn't clear but Walt basically killed all the other neo nazis with his TF2 century or I guess you could say half life century and which left Todd alive for Jesse to kill, which seems to be pretty much how he would have wanted it. Yeah, the thing is, like, you would expect them to, like, Walt and Jesse to be fighting each other, but they, they both got reasons to to not like each other, but they still, like, you know, helped each other in the end. Like, if, it, if, uh, if uh, Jesse didn't uh, squeal, uh, Hank wouldn't have died. And the neo Nazis wouldn't have got the money, but at the same time, uh, if Walt didn't point out Jesse to the neo Nazis, Brock's mother might still be alive. So they they both had reasons to hate each other. They they never really um, they never really like go over it quickly. Oh, what's gonna happen now? And you knew about this and you knew about that. But you know, it, it kind of they just they helped each other rather than you know bringing that stuff back up. It's, it's good, but at the same time, it kind of feels abrupt. Yeah, just a bit too fast. I'd say last season, season's finale felt a bit fast, too. You know, like, basically in the last episode, they kill Gus, kill everyone. Walt saves Jesse again, or this time it was again. You know, and this all happens in the, la the last episode and last hour. And they revealed that Walt. I don't know. It, it felt better in season four because he, you know, he ended it with "I won," and that's it. You know, he, he won. That's it. Well, well, technically, it ends with the slow pan and music out from Walt sitting in his garden, I believe. But yeah, pretty, pretty close. Yeah, yeah to pretty, show you the um, the poison thing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, good finale to a great show not perfect but you know i'd say breaking bad was never perfect it was just really good when it needed to be um i, I like that they've they've left possibilities but the the main story is over you know which is uh, i'm fine with that could have been a bit more uh, flashy but it's okay they told a story from you know the beginning of his transition to his death that's what they needed uh, I I don't wow. really think there's uh, anything else I I know about that well I, I mean you know the show basically starts when he starts his transformation that's the cancer diagnosis that's the whole point right so it covered exactly so what it needed to They, remember, I think when they said uh, in one of the interviews and also in one of the talking bads, they're like, oh, we were originally going to kill Jesse in like the second episode. And then he ends up being one of the characters, few characters that survives the whole series. I think they, they kept him alive because of how many people like him, you know? Like, he's a good character. Yeah, and a great actor. I mean, he's going to get mm -hmm. roles in so many movies like Need for Speed that are just that clearly are below his talent level but you know he does he does show a lot of range in the series
Oh, they, they never show you what happens to Marie either, you know? I, what I was, really, what I expected here was kind of, you know, the, the thing they're always doing in some TV series when it's the finale or something, they show you, like, what's going on with all the characters everywhere. The Wire did that. Kind oh. of, you know, it, it's... Oh. Uh, yeah, they could have the title cards, like, here's, you know, this picture of this person and some text, this is what happened later. But yeah, they didn't, they didn't but need to do that. They don't even need text, like, they show you a quick scene of them doing something, and it kind of, you know, it years. says more than words. Five months or five years in the future. Look, you can yeah. tell it's in the future because their hair style is different, and or we gave them older makeup. They look slightly more miserable. Yeah. Like Skylar looked in this episode. Which wasn't a bad final scene. She gets to act a lot by not saying much. She uh, at least, you know, gave Walt a break, let him let him explain and all that. Yeah. I think one of the things I mentioned on the Talking Bad that makes that scene work is that, you know, she's seeing he's finally being honest with her for once like you know not inventing a cover story or anything it's just like yeah look look here's coordinates to where they're buried that's and um those guys are gonna die tonight that's it that's all i got i heard a middle chunk chunk the um the story was given about the gas pump. Uh, so anyway, uh, I guess that covers about everything. Nothing more really to it. Every I just I think everybody wanted to see how he was gonna deal with the the neo Nazis, but I I don't think people expected him to build a sentry. Although. It's it would be silly if he was like standing there holding the M60 gunning them down. So yeah, I think they went about it the best way they could. Yeah, well, you know, given you how you pointed out and it's it's totally true that he transformed into Gordon Freeman in these flash forwards and the final episodes. It seems about right that he would, you know, just bell a sentry out of the M60. Rather than trying to fire it himself. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, well, the, the well, sentry part became clear once we saw him tinkering with the parts in the desert. But yeah, before it was always like, well, clearly he's going to shoot someone, but we don't know how. Way back in the flash forward. Way back in the flash forward. They. they... I think they got off good because yeah, I, I think you you posted something about they they did that scene but they didn't know where it was going to go so they were probably worried about how they're going to actually you know film the scene where it's actually used and they they made they you know they they made up something good I guess yeah they figured it out they did a great job and within eight episodes. They figured out exactly what that uh, Chekhov's M60 in the trunk was going to do. You know, followed the rules of screenwriting the to the T. Up, oh, I I think I've uh, I've said all I I wanted to say on on that finale. It was all right, but it, you know it 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 kind of it got the job done. Nothing less, nothing more. Yeah. Good finale to a great show. Anyway, thanks for talking about the finale. Uh, too bad we no were going to make it. But maybe another time. Yeah. Okay, see you later. See you. Bye.